Starfield is finally here after years of anticipation and unfortunately it comes with a bunch of performance issues. But not to worry, in this video I'm going to show you how I managed to get silky smooth gameplay with decent visuals on a mid-tier PC. And then I'm also going to give you a couple of tips if you're a creator like me and plan on creating video content within the game. Upon booting up Starfield I was met with a bunch of performance issues. I tried ultra settings at first and then high and then medium and, and it took hours of experimenting with the game as a slideshow to reach the point in which it looked great and maintained decent frame rates. So here are all of my settings. Borderless full screen is on because apparently normal full screen isn't an option anymore. Dynamic resolution is off. Render resolution scale is set to 80. Graphic presets are custom, obviously. Shadow quality is set to low. Indirect lighting is on ultra. Reflections are medium. Particle quality is high but can be turned down as they seem to cause a fair amount of frame drops for some unknown reason. Volumetric lighting is set to medium. Crowd density is high but can be brought down. Motion blur is off. GTA O quality is set to ultra and no that's not GTAs in Grand Theft Auto. Grass quality is set to ultra. Contact shadows is an ultra too. V-Sync is off but again this depends on your monitor and whether or not you're experiencing screen tearing. Upscaling is set to FSR 2 and sharpening is at 75. Enable VRS is on. Film grain intensity is zero and finally enable depth of field is set to on but feel free to turn that off if you're experiencing issues when talking to npcs in the game so as you can see from all of these clips the game runs really well now considering i'm using a mid-tier pc my specs are all in the description if you're curious just below the subscribe button <laughs> Smooth. All of these are taken from another video live on my channel right now where I showcase the first 30 minutes of the game without any commentary for those looking to experience the game without my charming British accent. Feel free to go and check out the full video if you're looking for a longer showcase. Now, for my fellow streamers and video creators, this section of the video is just for you. I was experiencing some real issues with Starfield when it came to recording. My visuals were great and then I'd whip out OBS and get ready to shoot some content and then all of a sudden there were GPU overloads and huge frame drops and just not a very nice experience. So I found the solution which was, as much as I love OBS and I've got all my overlays and stuff set up there, the solution was to download Nvidia Shadow Play. While I understand that it may not be the best option for a lot of people, particularly streamers who've got all their stuff set up, I needed to make videos. I had a set schedule and an audience that I would hate to disappoint by not uploading on time. If you're one of those people, then this is for you. So head to Nvidia's website and download Shadow Play from there. Once again, Again, there'll be a link in the description. I'm not affiliated with them. It's just a really awesome tool. You can use features like Instant Replay, which is the equivalent of Replay Buffer. You can record at variable bit rates, set up hotkeys, add cameras and mics, and there's even an option to live stream directly to YouTube, Twitch, or Facebook. Now, I haven't tried the live streaming options, so make sure you play around with it and test it before diving straight in with Starfield. Anyway, all of my clips were recorded at 30 megabits per second, which is actually higher than I usually record with OBS, and yet I didn't even notice a difference when playing Starfield using my awesome new settings and recording at the same time. The file sizes however are a little bit bigger than I'm used to at around about six gigabytes for a 30 minutes recording so just keep an eye on that if you're doing some long let's plays. Now I know that the shadow play method isn't an ideal solution but for creators that need to focus on getting the Starfield content out as early as possible this could be a saving grace. I know that it was for me. Even if we only have to use this method until Nvidia and Bethesda introduced DLSS into the game. It is a sacrifice that I personally am really willing to make in order to create the content. I hope this helps. Feel free to leave your suggestions in the comment section down below and stick around for more Starfield content in the near future. I'll catch you in the next one.